What's good, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Tony, a.k.a. The Senate of Chaos and Controversy. And today, I want to address something that I've been sitting on for, for a minute now. And uh, I know, hopefully, by the way I go about presenting this, that something is taken away from this discussion to where people aren't listening just to get offended, to get triggered, but to actually listen to the constructive criticism to where you learn something from what is being said, okay? I know when I make videos or when other people make videos or if I look at other people's content and I say that most of the people who I follow I have a certain amount of respect for because they talk about things that people choose not to or they feel it's not important or they feel like it's not my problem, it's whatever. Or, you know, these situations could have been um, resolved a long time ago if these people took this course of action, this, that, and the other. And I know I noticed that for me, I started to get upset because I started seeing all these recycled uh, responses and rebuttals that's geared towards being condescending, that's geared towards being assaulting, that's geared towards being insensitive, that geared towards the lack of understanding of the situations that people are trying to put on the table to say, hey, you know what, how can we, you know, resolve this? And instead of like people coming together in a particular think tank to say, okay, this is the issue, this is what's being addressed. What's the solution? But instead, you get these people that take the opportunity to just want to use whatever ammunition that they got stored in their little fucking whatever and just use it against the people that's trying to come up with a sensible solution. And we all know a lot of these, what a lot of these rebuttals consist of, especially when you talk about certain subject matters where you get the, well, if these people weren't on drugs, if these people weren't addicts, if these people uh, didn't get involved with certain criminal activity, uh, if these people just did this when they encountered law enforcement, if these people just did this, that, and everything else, whatever. And it falls under the umbrella of the stereotypes that people co-sign off of that extends to a generalized perception. And I speak on this ever so often. And it would be nice if the solutions were as easy set and put in motion to where everybody got on the same page. Imagine, just imagine if those that led the life of uh, entertaining the, the game, the game lifestyle, uh, participating in, in, in gang activities and decided to just say, you know what, this isn't for us anymore. Because I'm seeing how our lifestyle is being used and exploited for other people to get away with the shit that they're getting away with and we're being used as pawns in their little fucking political arena. So, Imagine if all those within the, the, the gang like community decide we're not going to start, we're, we're, we're no longer going to participate in, in killing each other. We're, we're no longer going to um, participate in poisoning our community with the drugs and stuff like that. Just imagine. Now you're taking the ammunition away from these condescending individuals. Who use you as an example for their talking points to paint a negative picture going across the board. Now they ain't got nothing in their arsenal. Imagine. I know for me, and I'll use this example. It bothered me when I, I, I listened to or I've seen, especially in, in under my content, 
when <laughs> I had individuals and ironically those who are black speaking against other black individuals to say <laughs> black black fathers don't take care of their kids and you can look at it in many different ways because I know for myself I had a battle with my daughter's um mother and my son's mother um with the whole child support and how they regulated on me seeing my kids and it was like unfair and it's like always it was always a fight it was more of a I got control you got to do as I say this that and everything else and it isn't just what black fathers go through it's what fathers go through period it don't matter what race you are and that fucking that fucking comment right there that shit irked me to no end because for any father that knows what they have to go through when it comes to certain spiteful women that they decide to get involved with and a child is producing out of the relationship that was toxic you know the courts a good percentage of, percentage of the time sided with these women. And these women weaponize the courts against the fathers. And the fathers generally do want to be in their kid's life. But to have to go through the shit that they go through. I know firsthand what it was like. And then having to fight these boyfriends of, uh, 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 of my baby mamas. That like I shared the story before. The one that put their hands on my daughter. I had to handle that situation. I mean, it's not as cut and dry as a lot of people present their, their opinions to not look at individual cases, but to look at all as just being no good. So, yes, financially... You know, through child support and outside of child support, yes, I was responsible as a father. But having to be active in their life consistently with me physically being there, no, I wasn't. But did I sit there and cry about it? No, because when my son, who is here now, when a, when a similar situation came up, instead of giving these motherfuckers ammunition to throw up in my face, even though they really didn't have a leg to stand on in regards to my, my, uh, my past and how I went about dealing with the situation with my um, kids' mothers and them, uh, I decided to go a different route. I decided to actually fight. Because fuck that. I'm not going to let a system be weaponized against me again and allow a person who didn't want to fucking be responsible for the child to begin with have custody of my kid just so they could just go off and do whatever the fuck they want to do and the well-being of my kid is in jeopardy because I decided to just say, okay, I, you know what? Nah. Nah. I decided to fight. There's a lesson to be taken away from this. And th this goes towards motherfuckers that have something retarded to say. Because I stood my ground. Because I fought for the custody of my son. And won. And things didn't fall in the favor of his mother because she's in and out of jail. She's still constantly entertaining the drug arena. But because I fought, I prevailed. Now, there's something that I want to say to those that just go along just to get along. 
I went from a person that went from going along just to get along and just accepting shit for what it was for what it was because I said, oh, nothing's going to change. This is the system. This is just the way it is. You know, what, you know, what rights do I have? Da, 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 da. It's the same thing parallel to what these individuals are fighting for when they see an injustice taking place. And for those that stand idly by or co-sign off on the bullshit is the reason why there is no change. If you don't fight to make change, or if you don't fight for your rights, if you don't fight to have a leg to stand on when things are coming against you, you either have one or two choices. You can either just throw your hands up and just accept shit for what it is and just be like, fuck it, or you stand your ground and you fight. So that whole asinine opinion that people got about black fathers not taking care of their kids instead of just looking at the shit that fathers go through, period, despite what fucking race you're from, you are. No, it's a matter of the system that takes away the rights of the fathers and automatically awards it to the mothers no matter how unfit they are. And unless that father says, you know what, fuck that, and fight for his rights as a father to have custody of their child. But see, people don't believe in that. Many, many people co-sign off of, you don't have the right to fight or stand up for yourself. You should just allow the system to just fucking... And if you do stand up for yourself, oh, you got to be one of them. You got to be anti this or you got to be anti that. Why are you causing problems? Why are you causing issues? But then if you decide not to do something, then you become a stereotype. How the fuck does that work? Or you're put into a particular category. So, basically what my video is, or the intended purpose of my video is basically to say, to kill a lot of generalizations, to do away or minimize a lot of these stereotypes that's presented upon many groups, or particular groups, or marginalized groups, um... Stop birthing life into these stereotypes. Take the ammunition away from these people that are willing and just waiting to use it against you. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Until next time, until next video, you already know how it is. Please hit that like button. Please share this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Um, whether you agree or disagree. Um, and that's it. All right. Peace.